Question 36 gives us this, and it tells us that if it were written in x plus y uh, root 2 form, what would be x and what would be y? So when you have equations or um, formulas written out like this, it's helpful to look at the denominator and try to figure out how to get it to be an integer number as opposed to having the root symbol in there. So we're going to multiply We're going to multiply both sides, or uh, both the, dom the numerator and the denominator by what would cancel this part out. This way we're multiplying by 1, so we're not technically changing anything. And down here, we'll get rid of our roots. So, as you can see, we're going to have 1 plus root 2 minus root 2, and then negative root 2 plus positive, or times positive root 2, is just minus 2. So this is our denominator. And so, so that means that our denominator um, is equal to negative 1. And so now let's solve for our numerator. So we're going to multiply these out and we're going to get 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 2. This can simplify to, so this is our numerator. So just keeping our fraction together, this is what we have. We simplify this a little bit more, and we get negative 3 minus 2 root 2. And so the form that they asked us about was, x plus y root 2. So this means that x is negative 3 and y is negative 2. If you want it in an ordered pair form, that's your answer.